James, you got to know the 17-year-old version of Julian Fleming really well back in the day. I'm curious, now that you're catching up with him as a 22-year-old, anything really stand out to you? And because and, and, he had mentioned that he felt he had really grown up in some significant ways. I'm curious what you see. Yeah. To be honest with you, um, he's been great. And the way that ended the first time, I wasn't necessarily sure how it would all play itself out. And even during the recruiting process, when we first had our, I'm talking about the second recruiting process, when we had our first conversation, I didn't, you know, I didn't know how it was going to play itself out. He's been, the guys love him. He's been awesome as a teammate, he's been really coachable. Um, I think he has been able to kind of move on. We've moved on. There's been no talk about kind of the past. He just, he's been really good. His grandfather's been up at practice. Another day, his uncle was up at practice, which is obviously a huge advantage of a local guy staying home. Um, he's, he's been really good, you know, to be honest. And, you know, there was a time period where we were recruiting when it was going really well, and there was a time period where we were recruiting when it didn't go well, and it didn't end great. So I think for both parties, uh, I don't want to speak for Julie, but it seems like it's been really good in terms of just energy, morale, expectations. It's been, it's been, it's been great. It's been a really good addition. I know that we've earned the coaches and the players um, trust and respect pretty quickly. James, second week the last two years, what do you see as the play all of this spring? How do you kind of push that forward? Yeah, I think the, the whole group, from what I've seen, is is improved. Um, Trey's always been kind of super athletic, losing him last year for a period of time, like we did. I thought that that hurt us. Um, I still would like to see a group of guys really kind of separate themselves from the pack. I think the whole group has improved, but I'd like to see a couple guys kind of kind of separate themselves and. and you know, make it clear the obvious to everybody. I think we need a little bit more of that, but, but Trey's been good. He's, you know, obviously he's been one of our guys that we've viewed as a starter now for a while. Uh, and like I already mentioned, losing him last year, that was a significant blow. James, go ahead. Yeah, I think you know, more than anything, it's a foundation of habits. It's a foundation of offense, defense, and special teams. Um, not just for the players, but for some of the coaches as well that are new. Um, so that literally we can come into summer and, and feel really good about having a chance to legitimately compete for jobs. Like right now, this is great, but there's gonna be no decisions made now. Like I think guys are gonna be want to kind of want to know where they're at at the end of spring you know there, there's so many things that are going to change between now and the first game and everybody's just kind of got to understand that you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be right or fair for anybody for us to make decisions at this point but a lot can change between now and West Virginia so um, I think it's just the foundation of all those things habits understanding the offense, defense, and special teams so you truly have a chance to compete in the summer. And then there's going to be some guys that obviously are going to get here in the summer that are going to factor in. We don't know who those guys are right now because after kind of signing the recruiting rankings and the stars go out the window, and what shows up, um, you know, we'll have a better chance to evaluate that and see if any of those guys that haven't been here yet, if they, if they got a chance to help us not necessarily by game one. Maybe maybe they've showed us that, that you know they got a chance, but then by game four or five, they're, they're ready to really contribute. James, how is Especially, the, uh, and the last thing yeah. I'm asking, I apologize. Especially when you talk about the possibility of 17 games at the long season. I wanted to ask about the recruiting dynamic of the staff. Now that you've had the three new coordinators, they're out on the road in January, uh, visits coming in now. How is things kind of going from that perspective? Yeah, I, I think you know because we've had pretty good stability on the recruiting staff. I think that's helped. Um, you know, I think you guys saw some of the recruiting staff was on the road recruiting. You know, when, when we had some uh, turnover and some open positions while we were waiting for clearance. Uh, so I think that helped. Um, you know, 
depending on how people do it, some people, the coordinators, don't have as active a role in recruiting we do. Um, but I still think the assistant coaches did a really good job. And then we always take kind of a layered approach in recruiting where it's not just one guy. Because you lose that guy, then, then you're in trouble. So you know, we always have multiple guys, whether it's the position coach, whether it's the coordinator, whether it's the area recruiter, and then the recruiting staff. So um, that's, that's really been pretty good. And when you think about like the last recruiting class, it's somewhat unusual. The last recruiting class, and then even the kids that committed those early in this class, you know, we had three changes in the coordinator position, but I don't think we lost a recruit during that period of time, which is very unusual. Very unusual. What have seen from your developmental focus since Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been really good. Um, you know, I think. There is clearly, you know, a real healthy uh, competition and back and forth between Drew and Bo. That's that's been really good. Both have, have kind of stepped their game up. Um, and then, you know, Grunkemeyer is really flashing and doing some, some nice things right now for a true freshman quarterback. What I'm most excited about is he's showing flashes right now. How is he going to be, you know, in the summer when he's had really kind of all spring and all early summer to kind of grind on, on the playbook, grind on the installs, watch a ton of, of Kansas tape, watch a ton of Penn State tape. Uh, where where will those guys be? Uh, but it's been it's been good. Jake, what energy level factor for under the coordinators? Are you feeling them kind of find their footing here? What have you seen from them for the seven weeks? Yeah, um, Andy, it, I think has been been really good. I think I've mentioned you guys before. You know. I think he's approaching it like I'd like it to be approached in terms of being the head coach of the offense, not just running plays of, of talking about what we have to do big picture-wise to be successful and understanding the why. Uh, Tom, there's a big difference between being a head coach in the Big Ten and a coordinator. Um, and I think kind of getting back into the rhythm of that. Uh, and, he's, and he's done a really nice job. The one thing he's struggling with right now is the whistle. He's still blowing the whistle in practice <laughs> more, than, more than he's supposed to. Um, I went up to him today. I go, did you just blow your whistle? Because I may have. I may have. <laughs> you know, it just, it's obviously, that, that's changed a little bit. He's been awesome. And then Lustig, I've been a fan of for a long time. So to be able to get him back uh, back in Pennsylvania and, and, uh, and here at Penn State has been, been really good. And really all three of them, you know, even Lustig, in terms of, we haven't talked about that a whole lot. Uh, we're, we're still running the same special teams that we have under the last two special teams coordinators. He's had a few tweaks, um, but, but for the most part, you know, kind of like we've discussed on, on offense and defense, um, a lot of, still a lot of similarities with what we've done. James, what have you seen from the linebackers so far this spring? They're good. You know, um, we're just starting to get some live work where you really got a chance to evaluate linebackers. It's hard to do it. Unless, unless you're flying around. Um, I do think some of the things that we're doing offensively um, that is different uh, has been challenging. It's been challenging for the safety specifically and the linebackers, those two groups. Um, um, but I've been, I've been pleased with it. I really have. I mean, obviously we got a group of guys that played a lot of football for us. And then we got a group of guys that need to take the next step uh, that we're excited about. You think about guys like Tavian and Keys, the kind of those next young guys that that need to you know, continue to grow up and evolve, and, and we're seeing signs of it. So um, hopefully, you know, they'll finish out this spring on a real positive and have a really good spring game and go into the summer with some confidence. And then again, you know, a couple weeks into summer camp, you know, feeling like we have depth there. But right now, um, we we gotta we gotta kind of create some more depth there and feel good about. It. Moving after on the defensive end, everybody's excited about, but it has an impact on our linebacker room too. James, you're about halfway through spring practice uh, at the moment with this week being kind of that mark. Are, are there things that you have accomplished that you want to do this spring? Or just what's your assessment of the team halfway through? Yeah, I hate to keep saying the same thing to you guys over over and over again, but but I you know it's about the foundation. I think we've laid a foundation where most of the offense, defense, and special teams are in right now. And then you got a chance to kind of evaluate. Um, 
And then I think, you know, there, there's still that aspect of, okay, we'll put all this stuff in, and then we'll go through it again in the summer, and then we got to kind of really figure out what our identity is. Like, okay, these are the things that we have in the playbook. What's going to be the identity of our defense this year? What's going to be the identity of our offense this year? And play to those strengths and then work on our weaknesses. Um, but I don't mean to keep answering that way, but that's really kind of where we are as spring balls. Laying a foundation, and I feel good about what we've done up to this point. Thanks, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you.